Welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. We are coming back to Bartling Bridges. Now, what is special about this map? In my opinion, the sheer size. But also, and I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound kind of weird, it's good for looters. And I know I said in multiple other videos that there's no loot here. But there is. It's just scattered everywhere. And because the map is so big. And there are multiple houses everywhere. If this map gets boosted. It's actually pretty damn profitable. It actually is. So looking at the team list here. Well pre-lobby encounter screen. Or pre-encounter lobby screen. We got three duos and one trio. So, on top of that, we got two solo players. What I just said was, there is like an 80% chance if I see somebody, it's going to be somebody's and not somebody. And so with that in mind, let's venture forth into Bridling Bridges. I don't like the spawn. Actually, I say that. I do like the spawn. Because I'm so far away from everything. We all know that the middle of the map is pretty much no man's land. It pretty much is. So if you spawn on the outside of it, then that means you have the opportunity to hear the developing situation in the future that will be no man's land. Also, it's in, an, it's in the overcast town not the best visibility and this might be some minute detail for y'all to notice but I'm pretty much the same color as a rock I know spooky so if need be I can like semi camouflage I just need to hope my head doesn't move then yeah push come to shove so if you wonder why I slow down randomly in houses it's because I'm listening the best time to hear somebody, in my experience, is when you're inside the house and you're just waiting for a little bit. Because you don't hear wind inside the house, or at least a lot of it. You don't hear, you know, any ambient noise. You just hear yourself. And if you're quiet, then you're literally, literally just an audible landmine. So, there's that. Now we heard a few little gunshots further to the north. Now, that doesn't tell me that there's a full-on gunfight. That may just tell me that maybe somebody saw somebody and took some speculative shots. Now, that I made it into the perimeter of No Man's Land, pretty much the bridges and then the area underneath, I'm slowing down a little bit. Because I believe I'm near a comm station, or at least in the vicinity of, and nothing's happening. Yes, I know the match is relatively early, but remember, right there, this is no man's land. And on top of that, I'm walking on a rail bridge. And correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't it sound like those gunshots are on this bridge with me? And that's an SG-1. Now, how far are they? Time safe goes off. You see, I'm thinking of... No, that's the M16. Now, I wanted to go into that rail car, but if I did that, then I'll be point blank range, and I don't like that. I think they're in this rail car above me. But I'm wrong. And so, as I look over there, don't see anybody. Just because you don't see anybody, does not mean you're not spotted. Yeah. And plus, why else would he be prone like that? Now see me, I would never do that. He was basically making himself a target by doing something like that. So, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't even wait for his body. And that's a grenade. 
And yes, I stopped right there just to listen. The gunshots may have stopped, but it doesn't mean the footsteps have. So now I'm watching the other side. I'm watching the other bridge. And I see somebody running down it. I think I see another person running down it too. Why are they going up there? Well, the time safe only had one padlock unlocked on it. And that's it. The container is on the bridge. And that is a bugle. So right here is when I realize no man's land is not right here. It's further up the bridges. And as you can tell by these fierce gunshots that, yeah, it's up here, all right. So I'm going to skip the houses and I'm going to skip the looting phase. I'm going to go straight up here and see what I can do. Notice I'm looking up here at these bridges because I don't think anybody's down here. But if you think something isn't there, that doesn't mean that it magically is not going to be there. What I just said was, be more vigilant than me in this scenario. Every time they fire, they're giving away their position. Or at least the rough location of their position. So I decided to come in here real quick. I know I said I was going to skip the looting, but you never know. You may find something important. And when you know it, I found something important. You see me mark the comm station. And I say bet. Red container. Go up here. I'm going to stealth it. Mark it for, my, for a uh, later escape. Just in case. Put my SG-1 on full auto. Because you hear that... Those are not concentrated I see you gunshots. Those are I'm blasting I'm blasting and hoping that's an L85. Hella close. Those are I'm blasting and I hope one of my bullets hits your head kind of gunshots. Eliminations taught me that. So right here. I believe I see somebody go up here and go prone on that road if they're not going to do it then it should be coming up here yeah right there and you see i noticed them because they're running and what's behind them what's their backdrop the sky you see folks this is why i always go prone on those ridges on field hunting so i'm watching right and i'm like if i had the height advantage i would shoot you in the head right now but i don't y'all know me i don't shoot unless i'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a headshot out of it and there's no way I can go over there especially now that he's um, tempered with a car and the alarm went off now he's running what I was hoping for right here was that he's gonna take cover behind the far side of this tank doesn't happen instead he comes straight toward me not really straight toward me but in my area now he must have something important so I decided to give chase. I decided to. Now maybe I don't play enough elimination, but you're about to see how terrible my aim is. And you see, here's my reasoning behind my terrible aim. I try to give lead to people. Because we know that the shooting mechanics and the bullet physics in this game are pretty fucking weird. So... I try to give lead to people because if you don't give lead and you put your crosshairs on them, your bullet's going to fall behind them. And since you're sitting still shooting, you're going to get clapped. So that's why I try to put lead on in front of that guy. And also I use a VSS too much. So um, my hands are pretty much wired to give lead because suppressed weapon. My point is this. My aim sucks. There, I said it. That's why I don't prefer full-on frontal engagements. But also, you know, it saves you mental stress. Now, here comes the real airdrop. Here comes the real airdrop. So, where is it going to land? I don't want it to land near my beloved red container. If it is still there. You never know. So, as so I'm walking down here, don't hear any more gunshots. Why is that? 
Well, I say that, and gunshots just went off. Boom. It's right there. Now, I'm waiting in this bush just to see if I hear anything. Not to clap anybody going for it. And you see, I, since I don't hear anything, I'll keep going. Now, I'm looking at, I'm looking at that foreign locomotive and thinking, that's a really good spot for somebody to go prone, prone in right now. Real good spot. So, I'm crawling up here. Because, number one, I want to hear stuff. But then I get pinged. Now, why would I get pinged right here? Somebody's close to the airdrop? Maybe? Well, that'll do it. You ain't got to worry about me no more. You ain't got to worry about me. You know why you ain't got to worry about me? Because my beloved red container, as I'm looking up at the bridges one more time, and yeah, I missed that comm station opportunity. I did. I ain't gonna lie to you. My beloved red con red container. Right here. Unscathed. Bad news is, the airdrop is indeed radiated. And so, we go on another anxiety marathon. But Jet, why aren't you taking your nearest exit? You must be new here. The moment I run past that airdrop to the top of the map is also the moment when I become a prime target for everybody up there camping said airdrop. If you can't get the airdrop, kill the fucker who's carrying it. That That's the meta of the game, and it has always been the meta of the game. So I pop a caffeine pill, drink some uh, Sprite Cranberry, and we're out of here. When I say we're out of here, I mean we're running across the length of the map hot dog style. Not hamburger style, but hot dog style. From damn north to south, literally. And we're going to try our best to get out of here. And, you know, it's crazy. In a length I've been talking, we're pretty much right back where we spawned at. Caffeine is actually underrated. And, you know... I have, a, I have a stack of them, don't get me wrong, but I don't find myself in enough situations where I'd be like, damn, I wish I had caffeine, instead of me saying, boy, if I had my h bar tea right now. I, I want my h bar tea more than caffeine pills, but I digress. Now we're pretty much past the point where we spawned at, and nothing is happening. Except, look at the compass. Somebody got the airdrop. That wasn't that too far back when I got pinged. I think it's when they saw me get said airdrop and started running away from them. They developed a safety and went for it. That's what I think happened. And now radiation is about to hit. And it's cool because I'm already out of here. Now, that was not the smoothest encounter. Don't get me wrong. But what did you learn from that? Keep a watchful eye, folks. There's not one thing I can say about this encounter that I can, that'll be like, y'all should learn to do this. No. And like I said, numbers don't tell the story. Was that difficult? Not really. It only got difficult because I took chances. But 3.3k XP is a nice mid-encounter. Basic is 2,000. 3.3... Well, 3,000 and up is mid, and 4,000 on up is pretty much I had to do something. You know what I'm saying? So, stay tuned for more videos, people. I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Until next time, peace.